Aight, Nine Spiral, welcome to Forbidden Scripture. And we're digging on the mighty mountains of Israel. Let's pop off. Micah 3 and 12. Therefore, because of you, Zion shall be plowed like a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps of ruins, and the mountain of the temples like the bare hills of the forest. Huh? Isaiah 51, verse 1 through 3. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Most High. Look to the rock from which you were hewed, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you, for I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. Huh? Let's go. Ezekiel 36, verse 1 through 11. And you, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Most High. Thus says the Most High, Hawa, because the enemy has said to you, Aha, the ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus says the Most High Hobah, Because they made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, so that you became the possession of the rest of the nations, huh? And you were taken up by the lips of talkers and slandered by the people. Therefore, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Most High. <gasps> huh? Thus says the Most High. Hawa to the mountains, the hills, the rivers, the valleys, the desolate wastes, and the cities that have been forsaken, which became plunder and mockery to the rest of the nations all around. Therefore, thus says the Most High Hawah, Surely I have spoken in my burning jealousy against the rest of the nations and against Edom. Huh? <laughs> Who gave my land to themselves as a possession with wholehearted joy and spiteful minds in order to plunder its open country, huh? <laughs> Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel, say to the mountains, the hills, the rivers, and the valleys. Thus says the Most High Hawah, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury because you have borne the shame of the nations. Therefore, thus says the Most High Hawah, I have raised my hand in the oath that surely the nations that are around you shall bear their own shame. Huh? 
But you, O mountains of Israel, you shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people, for they are about to come. (laughs) For indeed I am for you, and I will turn to you, and you shall be tilled and sown. I will multiply men upon you, O the house of Israel, all of it, and the city shall be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. Huh? I will multiply you upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bear young. I will make you inhabited as in former times and do better for you than at your beginnings. Then you shall know that I am the most high. Huh? Second Ezra's chapter 2, 15 through 19. Let's get it. Mother, embrace your children. Bring them up with gladness as does a dove. Strengthen their feet. Because I have chosen you, says the Most High. And I will raise up the dead from their places and bring them out from their tombs. Because I recognize my name in them. Huh? Do not fear, mother of children, for I have chosen you, says the Most High. I will send you help, my servants, Isaiah and Jeremiah, according to their counsel. I have consecrated and prepared for you twelve trees loaded with various fruits, and the same number of springs flowing with milk and honey, and seven mighty mountains on which roses and lilies grow by these. I will fill your children with joy. Patriarch. So you can see there's like three big peaks, which are like the three patriarchs. I think this is like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, like the three patriarchs. I think this is like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I think.
हुआ